Hey there, we're back in the shop for another trick. Today's trick is on bandsaws, but actually bandsaw blades. One of the trickiest things with bandsaw blades is trying to figure out how long this is. Because if you go to order new blades, you need to know that length. If you've got two different bandsaws, you've got different blades that'll fit on there. Maybe you've got a friend that's getting rid of some blades and they want to gift you, but you don't know if they're going to fit on your saw. So you want to find out what the diameter of this is. Well, not, not the diameter, the length actually. So you need to figure that out. You can measure it, but you'll lose your mind because trying to put a tape on this or anything just doesn't work. So we're going to use math, which is a cool thing. So first what we want to do is fold this smaller to work with it. And I've got my gloves on, so that's a good thing. Fold it up. <laughs> Always fun, but I'm safe. So you might have noticed somewhere along the line that trying to fold a blade into an even number of loops isn't gonna happen. It's always an odd number of loops. In this case, it's three, and that works fine. Get them pretty much as tight as you can, and we're gonna measure the diameter. Take your roll, and you don't have to be dead on. We wanna get close. You can see and check, make sure you're actually at the diameter, give it a little bit of a push. Uh, I don't know, I might call this 13 and a quarter, which is gonna be okay, we can use that. The more accurate is better, if you think 13 and a quarter works fine. We're gonna do some math and I'm not gonna make you do it in your head, which is the good thing. So let's play 13 and a quarter, and we have three loops. So let's go to our, well, calculator slash phone in this case. So we've got 13.25, times three loops times pi, 3.14 equals. Your bandsaw blade should be about 124 inches in length. So that's not too hard to do. Now let's check another blade. This one's thinner and less long, but you're also gonna notice three loops. So the same math applies. Take another measurement. We're gonna call this one, it's pretty dead on 10 inches, I think. We're pretty safe there. So we'll skip a little bit of math. 10 times three, I can do that in my head. 10 inches times three loops. So we've got 30 times 3.14 equals. We got a 94 inch long blade. How about that? Pretty clever, pretty easy to do. Once you've figured out that dimension, mark it on your saw so you'll remember it. So now you've got a quick way to figure out the pretty close to accurate length of your blade. Uh, use it, find the right piece. Remember that uh, you've got a little bit of play on your bandsaw, so you shouldn't have to be dead on perfect, but it's gonna get you a lot closer when you're going to order. So enjoy that trick. See you next time.